What's going on guys? In this video, I'm going to be breaking down, I believe to be just a really unique, a really different way to uh, to run the gun bunch concepts. And we're going to be running this. Uh, we're going to show you a very unique way, I think, to use a corner route from the bunch that uh, not very many people are using. And this is kind of going to go alongside of some of the things that we've been doing over the last couple of weeks uh, with basically like trips. The whole, whole concept is really trips into the boundary. So you know, basically having your, your, your bunch or, you know, kind of conventional wisdom, something we've all heard, um, you know, something we've all heard it, at some point is this idea that you have to run your trips to the wide side of the field. You always have to do that. And in Madden 22 with the way, or in Madden 21, and also I think in Madden 22 as well, because of the way the zone works, the system, the mechanics, what you get is you get this grid. Um, you get this grid feel. And I'm going to unpack this more in future weeks. But suffice it to say for now, basically what that means is zones are going to work different depending on where they actually are at in the field. So if you have a curl flat to the wide side versus a curl flat to the short side, they're going to defend a lot differently. And what you find out when you study these zones is when, they, when um, zones are ran to the short side, curl flats and, and, and cloud flats, you find that when they run those to the short side, they tend to suck in a lot more than they do to the wide side of the field. I'm not sure why. I think it has to do with this idea of a grid. So uh, what we're going to go over today is this Pat's Curl Flat. And uh, Pat's Curl Flat is one of my favorite concepts year in and year out. It's been a great play for years. Um, and this is in the New England Patriots Guide. So if you've not picked up the New England Patriots Guide, you want to get all... Uh, all 17 shotgun formations, all nine, uh, nine I or single back, and all of the everything from this playbook, you can get all of that in that ebook. So that is available down in the description. I break down every single thing that you can do from New England. So if you want to get it, it's available down below. It's going to be the it's the one purchase that I would make if I was trying to get ready for Madden 22 because this offense is insanely good in Madden 22. At least it was on the beta. So the play is Pat's curl flat. And my curl flats are set to 10. My uh, hook curls are set to 10. And then my hard flats or my cloud flats are set to 20 or 30, okay? Kind of a standard way that people would defend bunch. And I wanna show you what happens. Um, I've actually learned this out of trips tied in, but it does apply to bunch. And, and really all we're gonna do is we're gonna isolate this corner route. So typically, if you don't have a vertical pull route and you're running bunch, an outside third will jump the corner route. However, when you run this to the short side and you put a hitch there, I want you to watch what happens. Snap on the ball. I want you to watch that outside corner. Look how he doesn't do anything. He does absolutely nothing to this play. And I want to go into history play and show you what I'm talking about. Now, um, you know, like I said, I notice this out of trips tied in a lot, and it same applies to this. So I want you to watch what happens. This guy is in, it's Mike Blitz 3, right? The meta defense that we all talk about. And this guy is in a deep third. Now, typically, a deep third, if there's no vertical pull route, will get pulled. And I'll go back to that in just a second. Watch what happens. Snap the ball. Watch this corner. He does not, he drifts. And not only that, but this guy that's in a 30-yard cloud flat, look where he's going. This is what I'm talking about about a grid. This guy will not step foot outside the numbers. Look where he's at. He's on the numbers. He's not moving. The same thing with the purple zone. Look where he's going to end. Look where he stops. Now he does get out a little bit more, um, but he doesn't get out all the way. And that's an easy throw, easy dot over and over again. You can dot him up. Now I want to flip the bunch and I want to show you what this looks like. Um, the same play, but we're just going to run this to the opposite side. And I'm going to set the exact same adjustments up defensively uh, so that you can see that. So again, we're just going to do this right here so you see this is the exact adjustments and we're going to use the same exact route combination okay just something like this just isolating these two routes i want you to watch r1 snap the ball and look look what the outside third did did you notice that he came down and played it now in mutt it's going to come down a lot faster and in mutt it's going to be a pick this is an interesting concept this has made me rethink my whole entire concept for how i want to run gun bunch Watch this. Watch this outside third. Same thing. But look, because there's no vertical pull route, he turns around and he comes down and he makes a play on this corner route. Okay? Now, once you watch the flat zone, 
30 yard cloud flat on the wide side of the field look where he's going he gets all the way now he doesn't get outside the numbers still um, part of that's because of our hitch route okay which I'll come back to in a minute it's my favorite route in the game against zone but look and he does get outside the numbers see how he keeps going to the wide side look where, look how far outside this guy is look at that okay completely different way of these zones zones reacting okay so because of that that finding it allows us to be insanely effective against the Mabel coverage when we run short side bunch so let me just show you I mean this is all day long this is re revolutionized the way I run bunch um, I find that sometimes and, and not just sometimes anymore I'm starting to find maybe 60 to 75 percent of the time you'll find more success running your bunch to the short side and your trips to the short side than you will run into the uh, to the wide side now I say that and right after I say that I want to say this you can't say they're the same thing. They're different. Bunch to the field, bunch to the boundary, bunch to the wide side, bunch to the short side is just a different offense, a different concept, and defenses are going to react differently as we just showed. Okay, So that's what you have to kind of at least come to terms with. So how do we create what I believe to be an unguardable concept out of these three receivers? Honestly, it's really simple. That's it. That's all we're doing. And I want you to watch. So all we did was smart route R1. I just want you to watch this. Watch R1. Just absolutely laser to the outside. Now, if you wanted to do one other thing, if you want to do one other thing, put circle on a hitch, and then you're going to motion him out just, uh, just like a little bit. Like, we're talking like a step. Boom. And watch this. Look how open that hitch is. Now, uh, I'm going to come back. I want to I want to hit on the hitch for a second, too, um, because I've talked a lot about this over the last couple of weeks, specifically more to the solo receiver, but you could do the same thing to this. So the best zone that they can use to defend a hitch is to drop a defensive end into a vert hook, okay? Um, so now you see this is the concept we create, um, and now I just want you to watch. Now, um, what you could do if you wanted to is you could short, you could drag the X. Um, he's not necessary to the play, uh, which is why I'm just going to block him just to show this. So when I motion this guy out, just like that, watch the yellow. He won't get out there. It's an easy read under that zone. Every time, it's super easy. You're hitting him for five to seven yards with a simple hitch route against Mabel. Like, it's so, so easy to beat this coverage um, once you've really div, do, uh, dove in and learned it, um, as, as I've tried to do over the last couple of months. And what you'll see here, because this is the number, I mean, this is the best way to play defense. It, it's, a, it's a meta for a reason, all right? It wouldn't be a meta if it wasn't good. But watch this. Same thing, just a little baby motion, watch, boom. And that was a seam flat on the outside. So I showed you a curl flat and a seam flat. It's been the same thing. Um, not to mention this. Now I want to show you two types of zones to that corner route. First one is a deep third, and we're just going to do it exactly the way that I was showing it a second ago. So if I just do that, watch R1, pass leading, easy, easy dot. Okay. If I, I should have passed that outside, and I didn't, but it's fine. Now uh, one one thing I did want to just show, just real quick, uh, I just because I want to show you the little things. I think the little things make a big difference here watch this defensive end if i leave circle in if i don't move him watch what's going to happen here he's there but he's not there he's there but he's not there now um let me do some things from the defensive side of the ball to try to basically you know kind of over protect it okay so we're going to spread the line we're gonna really try to get him out there and i just want you to watch boom pass lead right and you see they really sit on him they really they really sit down on that hitch okay um, now all the while they do sit down on the hitch but you've got a ton of space to be able to hit this um, this this uh, corner route watch what happens watch them just sit down on him and look at all that grass okay so you don't even have to motion them. now um, I think you I still think you should like one step and that one step is going to give you all the space you need. So let me just show you that one more time. Boom, boom, boom. 
one step and look at this bam but when you bring in outside the numbers what it does is it tells the zones you can go outside the numbers so it, it doesn't stop the corner route i can show you that real quick it's going to open up the hits it's going to make it's going to basically make the hitch unstoppable against any zone there's no zone in the game that's going to guard the hitch route if you do that but it does um increase the like like it just increases the leverage they can have on the corner but if i pass lead this to the right just like that you see they see how they kind of get out there um so you know just kind of i would i would honestly the more i think about it i would probably just leave him um let me show you really quickly what happens if we put if we leave him in like a the, the route that he's already on you'll see here because it's outside the numbers look um, you can still do that too okay that that works fine okay and that that will be man way better than the hitch will okay just FYI so you can realistically just basically I mean I wouldn't I would smart route that corner uh, you could just snap this uh, you could literally just come out and snap the play watch R1 uh, the problem is you see that that 30 yard cloud can kind of, you know, it just kind of gets in the way. So anyways, the other zone I wanted to show this to you against would be a quarter zone. So if I put an outside quarter there, I just want to show you how to defend it. Um, so same adjustments, just like that. Watch R1. Quarters aren't going to do any better. Just pass lead it to the outside. Easy dot. Okay. Um, so, so that's that's that concept so now what you can do is you can take that concept and you can create something entirely you know and, and, and basically align to it so uh, for example what I would do with this play uh, again it comes back to understanding short side concepts and wide side concepts I think that is something that is so underrated in this game so you have to understand is this concept a short side concept like this right here that I'm showing you this two-man uh, basically smash concept that's a short side concept that is a short side concept okay so what I might want to do with this is now I could create a wide side concept so what would be an example of a wide side concept well the zones drift more to the outside on the wide side of the field so it might look something like this where I take this um, Evans here and I put him on a skinny post and then maybe I um, you know essentially use an option route um, like this or you know I could do something like that right there is a really good one uh, with a wheel drag concept uh, and the reason why this is really good look at this now now look all that space you have to throw and I, I threw it a little too late but now that you see what I'm saying now it's kind of coming together another thing that's really really good uh, especially on a wide side concept again short side versus wide side what's a good wide side concept well, a really good wide side concept would be a wheel and an out route, okay? Because the wheel is not necessarily good. Hot routed wheel is not always as good as the short side. Watch the wide side. So if I put this out route here, and then I have this wheel, watch this wheel. This kind of cuts up right in here, and now I got a nice dot over the middle of the field. So now I've got a lot of concepts, and now I've been able to piece together different things to create a money play. So I would encourage you to try this out. I think it's a lot of fun, and uh, I would just encourage you, uh, lab the short side of the field versus the wide side of the field concepts. I think that's something huge. It's what I'm going to be spending a lot of time doing over the course of the next couple of weeks as we prepare for Madden 22. I think it's going to really easily transition over because honestly, this short side versus wide side field thing has been a thing for years. It's just recently um, a lot of Madden players have really understood that. Uh, I would say, you know, when I first get started Madden, you know, people would run trips to the short side all the time. Now, you hear people saying you got to run your trips to the wide side. Well, what I'm saying is I think it can be both. I think you can have wide side setups and short side setups that are really, really effective. So thanks for your time. I hope you enjoyed the video. And if you have any questions, feel free to hit me up. If you want to get my full New England guide, um, the guide that I'm going to be running in Madden 22, uh, and it's going to be very similar, I would go ahead and encourage you to get it. Um, it's really fun to start labbing and preparing and learning some of these concepts now. So when Madden 22 comes out in about a month, then you can hit the ground running already knowing what you're doing. So thanks for your time. Hope you enjoyed the video. And if you want to get the guide, it's in the description.